Hello everyone and welcome to what is another episode of this randomizer series here on the channel of TW2020 as I randomized my company's name, roster in product, as we're coming up on the tail end of the tour. We only have a couple of more loops left. I believe we just have uh, Mid-South and Southeast. I think that's it. I believe so. I kind of forgot where we started to be honest, but I want to say it was the Mid-Atlantic. If it was Southeast, then I'm just somehow forgetting that's where we started on the loop. Then, uh, yeah, we only have one more left. I'm pretty sure there's two. Pretty sure. As I'll have to double check that before I, you know, make that official. But for this show, should be a pretty good show. I think everything's lined up perfectly. I think, uh, everything's gonna go smoothly here. We do have, uh, you know, Rob Van Dam still out injured, obviously, from his, uh, fucking match with Fit Feeling. The fans bring the weapons match. That's a goddamn shame. Really would have loved to have him a part of the Champion Carnival, but here we are. Is, uh, wow, we have a lot of backstage incidents. What a surprise. Repo Man. Tying up very late. Breaking locker room rules. Stern warning. Don't do that. Oh, I got a small negative. Ah, well. That didn't go over well. As, uh, Mr. America almost got into a fight with Tom Pritchard after he caused some damage to his rental car. Fine. Take that, Mr. America. Oh, now I got slimmering tension. Oh, boy. His Miko Satamora. Got into a heated argument with a fan backstage, and or a fan outside the arena, rather. This is a fan's backstage. Jesus Christ. Says, had to be restrained before the, uh, she makes things physical. Oh, boy. Uh, Stern Boy can't be fighting the fans. My God. As then Mark Rocco was being a jerk backstage. Eventually threw a punch at Nikita Koloff, which was a bad move, as Nikita Koloff beat his fucking ass. I think he learned his lesson, so we'll just give him a nice little slap on the wrist. Oh, yeah. Everybody was pretty much... Oh, well. Nikita Koloff called us soft. And Marco Rocco's gonna get some intention with Nikita Koloff. All right. <laughs> we got that now out of the way. On to the card as our main event tag match of uh, Mr. America and Bobo Brazil taking on Lance Storm and Brian Pillman. Brian Pillman making his debut. Pretty exciting stuff. As uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I don't, they're not an official tag team. But, I mean, if there was ever, like, just an American fucking team... Take away what? what <laughs> yeah. If it's not Hulk Hogan under that mask, if it's Mister America, somebody else with Bobo Brazil, what a great fucking team! You know, Bobo Brazil, one of the you know first ever really like African American champions in the wrestling business, and was really you know a trend center and paved the way, especially in uh, the mid. Well, I guess really would say. Uh, oh yeah, the Midwest, Michigan is the Midwest. So yeah, just you know, Michigan and really what he did. Boy, with him and, and the Sheik, you know, that was legendary business. Hell of a trendsetter, so that, that should be a pretty fun tag team. If it's not, we, who we know is underneath that mask. But if we just blank slate Mr. America, it's a fun little team. But, you know, Brian Billman and Lance Arm obviously just going to be the Canadians. Nothing too crazy there. Just a little Canada versus America, a little feud here going on. So we're going to give Pillman the win. Just to, you know, make it his debut, one of them come off strong. He's going to beat... Bobo, which I don't think it's tough because Bobo does pretty well for us. He's in the 40s. I'm not really sure how Pim Pillman's going to do. I think Pillman's going to do all right, though. We'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. Is that getting 14 minutes? And you know what's going to happen here. A little anti-American promo from Lance Storm. As uh, we're at uh, we're outside Eva's Fine Restaurant here in Arizona in front of 60-some fans. They're going to tell those 60-some fans that they're about to see two great Canadian athletes Beat the piss out of their American heroes and Mr. American Bobo Brazil. It's Lance Storm. Anti American promo. What's the American promo? There we go. And Pillman's just in the background <laughs> for this, really. He's not really cutting the promo. As I, I mean, he could just, I'm gonna yank out my Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, piss in this hell if we lose this match against these Americans. Yeah, well, we're just going to we'll have them cut that little part of this, of the promo. That should be fun. So now the uh, two out of three falls match for the mass Superstar and the Hong Tuck Man. We're finally blowing off this feud. Finally, they've done the loop. Finally, these two settle the score in this two out of three falls match for the final time. Mass Superstar, Honky Tuck Man. We're going to give them some time, actually. We're going to give them about 18 minutes. Ah, 16, actually, to be fair. Yeah, Superstar going to get the win this time around. I think that he's been the better of the two, so I think he deserves to win this feud. Give him some momentum before our uh, Champion Carnival tour. 
So that should be fun. That's a big time win. And of course, Hong Tong Man Music Number has his entrance. Man Music Number. Yeah, I think we have it based off entertainment. I guess we can have it be off charisma or acting, maybe, just to change it up. And entertainment's fine. Hey, just down, get down, man. Well, you know, we never really script them, but I mean, it is just song lyrics, so it's pretty. I mean, that's pretty much a script. So we'll just go ahead and do that. You see, my fucking dyslexia that is popping up as a view. There we go. Jesus. All right. Now we're, we're lock and loaded now. So, a uh, tag match. This is the next match. Trevor Lee and PCL going to take on the Human Cannonballs. Trevor Lee making his debut. Trevor Lee. PCL. A little fun little team. Human Cannonballs. So, we really have to turn Jado here. Assuming, uh, assuming here as... I, I think we're going to have Trevor Lee get the win. I know that's very ballsy. As someone who, you know, we haven't really used. But I uh, will have this base off hardcore too because we kind of need a hardcore match. And John and Ghetto are pretty good at hardcore. Trevor Lee, not so much. So is PCL, if I remember correctly. Well, 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 well. we could do a brawl because we do need to do that. I think we're going to do that instead. Uh, so really, the finish is uh, is going to make a little bit more sense once we get into the uh, the thick of it here uh, of the show. So before the match, Trevor Lee is uh, promoting the workout shake. You know, being a world traveling salesman, so you're trying to sell the people here outside Eve's uh, Eva's uh, fine restaurant on the the workout shakes to give Brooke Adams her incredible strength. And yeah, obviously it's PCO doing it, so it's all a scam in the end. It's, as it's basically just um, some type of, you know, it's a beverage that's it's kind of, it's basically milk. It's all it is, but with the, what they don't know won't, won't hurt them type of thing. Uh, it promotes to the fine people. <laughs> at the tent, <laughs> which is uh, for the, at the, the old carnival here. The workout strengths. No, the workout shakes, rather. Jesus. Tent. I don't know. Jeez. Shakes. At. Brooke. Uses. Yeah, and we'll just, you know, nice little promotion with Jeff Lee and, and Brooke doing, like, feats of strength and really PCO's the one doing them. Just selling his fucking ass off. As I uh, yeah, we'll do Menace and then. Oof, um, acting probably probably be the best. All right, yeah, that's fun, 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 fun. As uh, I'm not expecting that to go over too hot, and we still need seal the show in a car crash. All right, that should be done. Cause I just want to make sure nothing is right on car. Okay, uh, so yeah, then the next match is uh, Bloody Mary versus Miko Satamora. Keeping off with uh, what Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary's done. I mean, she's probably the best woman we got. Poor Miko Satamora. I hate to do this to you, but someone... I mean, it's not going your way so far. You're going to have to take the fall on this one. That is tough. We're going to do a car crash. Open all out. Decisive. Actually, <laughs> steal the shell. Uh, what a terrible idea. Alright. And then the uh, next match is the Fans Bring the Weapons match. Fit Filling going to take on Shuji Shikawa. And that will be the Mayhem match. Fit Finley. Shuji Shikawa. We've had a couple of these. Shuji Shikawa I hasn't used them in a hot mess. So I just figured it would be the perfect time to do that now. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Rather. There we go. There, we're good on time, looks like. Uh, and then we're going to have, obviously, our intro of Howard Finkel. 
Welcome to the greatest. Okay, perfect. Which usually does pretty bad, but that's all right. <laughs> we need something to open up the shell. Yeah, you know this is. I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's uh, let's see how it runs here. Yeah, 38, as always. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. 66 people outside Eva's fine restaurant. Here we set up the tent in the parking lot. Fit Finley and Shuji Shikawa open up the show with the fans being the weapons match. Fit gets the one, the tombstone pile driver on the chair. Nine, and 8.30, about to 9.30. Got the crowd buzzing, of course, because of Fit. <laughs> Shuji Shikawa is not ready for that. With a 29. Yeah, Bloody Mary with a 33. Here gets the submission win. 5.55 of Amico Satamora. Uh, Miko said I'm worth a 26. That is tough. Still not the worst thing on the card so far. <laughs> that, would, that would be Howard Finkel's introduction. So, no. This is not great at all as well. Trevor Lee promotes to the fine people at the tent and, and the uh, parking lot of Eva's fine restaurant. The workout shakes that Brooke uses to have her incredible feats of strength be done. Thanks to those. Little do they know it's just a bottle of milk. <laughs> In just a glass bottle. Nothing too crazy. Well, and then, you know, shake it up a little bit. It's nothing too crazy there. Uh, but the 39 for the match, and yeah, I mean, they're not a bad team at all for what we had to be as a wild brawl. Not bad at all. Wow. We might have to use them as a team. Uh, that's a fun little team. There. Trevor Lee with a 36, PCO with a 42. They're not bad at all. Yeah, Trevor Lee with the orange crush after he doinks Ghetto in the head with the fucking milkshake bottle. And uh, it's the Orange Crush for the win. That's a big time win for the team of PC and Trevor Lee. We might have just made a tag team out of that. Boy, <laughs> Hong Dog Man's music number not doing too hot. I think the fans are getting sick and seeing of seeing this. Uh, yeah, low morale, low locker room morale, and a poor gimmick. Boy, oh boy, a whole lot of negatives there. The match itself with a 47. Uh, yeah, the match is given a little too long, given our audience. So not great. Gotta know that going into this, that that's not a great, uh, you know, anything past really 15 minutes is a little bit too long for our audience. But that nah, superstar Hong Dog Man still doing a, a pretty good job there with a 47. They've had better matches in the past, I think, because of the uh, long, uh, long match and plus the low locker room morale and just the low morale in general kind of did a terrible job. But other than that, I think it was still you know, not not terrible. Could have been a lot worse. Glad that wasn't the main event. The anti-America promo. Get to 49. It's Brian Pillman doing a great job there improvising. So he's mimicking, whipping out his dick <laughs> to piss all over the, the arena. As a, yeah, Mr. America and Bobo Brazil fall up short to the Canadians as Brian Pillman pins Bobo Brazil. Uh, I want to say it's, uh, you know, instead of Air Pillman, they, he calls it Air Canada. That's the springboard clothesline off the ropes to take out Bobo Brazil and get the win. Yeah, I mean... Hogan's off his game. He still does a 70. Carrying this one to a nice little rating there. Everybody else in the 50s, though. That's not a bad main event at all. I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah, we increased the pop. <laughs> How fun. As, yeah, we can... I hate to do this, but we can put over Hogan. It's probably a good call there. Uh, I'm going to put over Fit. Because Fitz always does a tremendous job for us. And then... Oh, man. It's not a whole lot going on here, but I... I'm going to probably put over Pillman, to be honest. He did a pretty good job tonight. Get put them over. Nice. 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 All right. Well, that will do it for the show. I hope you all enjoyed it. And, it's, uh, man, we are coming down the home stretch of our first ever tour. I hope you've all enjoyed the series so far. It's been a blast to book. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time for more Carnival Wars. Take care, everyone.